Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Beard Minded. So today we're doing a budget kit from Amazon. I will also link it down below to where you can purchase it. Um, this was a gift actually for my birthday back in February. Um, but this is actually a really cool kit. Um, it's not top of the line, but it's good to get you started if you're just getting started in a big game. I'll tell you that now. Or, you know, you're strapped for cash. This is a good deal right here. And this is why I tell you that. First of all, it comes in this, this little tin here. Kind of has some packing material in it. And it was wrapped in bubble wrap at the time. Um, on the back, gives you all the details. You can see that. And yes, there is an expiration date down here and a lot number. Uh, I guess so they can... There's an issue that they can recall it, or you can call the seller if it goes bad for some reason. Um, but in the kit, it comes with a two-ounce beard oil, and it comes with a one-ounce screw lid tin of beard balm. Um, the scent on it is sandalwood, just straight up. Smell good. I mean, it's it's a pretty good strong scent of sandalwood, and it lasts quite a bit for it to be so cheap. Um, the kit's like thirteen bucks. It might vary, depends on what seller. Um, but it is through Gentle Vikings, as you've seen on the tin. Uh, the one ounce beard bomb. All right, night. I've used this a few times. But this, it's really kind of like a translucent white. And this stuff right here, I'll scoop something out and I'll show you. I mean, it's real easy. I mean, it's like butter. It literally is. I would, I would almost consider it a beard butter than a bomb. Because it only has a... Uh, a light hold. I mean, light to no hold, and that's no joke. I've literally put this in my beard, and it looked more bushy after I put it in. But fact of the matter is, this stuff right here is actually really sticky after you emulsify it in your hands. Oh, don't get me wrong; it emulsifies great. It's just it instantly melts in your hands. If it's quite a bit hot in your house, this is probably going to turn liquid. Um, so, well, I really don't want to swipe on my shirt for now. But yeah, this stuff right here, it's, once it's emulsified in your hands and you put it in beard, it does leave a really sticky residue in your hands. Uh, the fill in beard is, uh, I don't know, it, it almost feels like having a, heavy wax coating over your over your beard to be honest I wouldn't use this daily this would be good to use in the pool during summer to protect your beard from the chlorine because it coats that well and when you go to wash it out uh, I used it yesterday and I had to wash my beard twice I actually had to strip it you have to use a good stripping soap to get this stuff out. And that is no joke. And scrub to get it. Um, so, the beard oil itself, it is not a real thick. It's, a, it's on the thin side. But in beard, it feels good. It does make it feel soft. Not to the max like some of these name brands. But it's something to get you by, if you, especially if you're strapped for cash. Um, all the ingredients that's in uh, the beard oil is wheat germ oil, olive oil, grape seed oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, or jojoba oil, however you want to say it, sweet almond oil, tocopherol, yes, it's spelled with the E-R-O-L, so it's the real vitamin E, and sandalwood oil, of course that's where the smell comes from. I would say it's best to use this kind at night 
because it's kind of a relaxing smell. But if you really love sandalwood, you can wear this all day. You'll probably have to apply it at least two to three times on a warmer day. Because, like I said, it's a thinner oil. It, it hangs around for at least three hours, maybe four at the most. And then what we got in the ingredients in the beard balm is beeswax, coconut oil, jojoba oil, I'm going to say it that way, sweet almond oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, castor oil, tocopherol, lanolin, and sandalwood oil. I don't know, maybe that stickiness comes from the lanolin. And of course, I mean, this is quite a bit of ingredients for it to be a beard balm, to be honest. Including the the oil, I mean, that has quite a bit in it. But I'm not saying that they all have good benefits, of course. Uh, let's see. Now, when it comes to the shea butter and the cocoa, cocoa butter, I, I don't smell it. I mean, maybe it's over, maybe because it's the sandalwood oil smell overtakes it. But you can't really tell it's in there. It's more, to, I feel like there's more of the oils and maybe the lanolin and just the beeswax. That's what it feels like is it, it, it's all it's in there. It's, it's kind of crazy, but it's worth it for the money. And this is why it's worth it for the money. Because you get a comb with it. And this is not a weak comb. See, it's got the Gentle Vikings logo on there, which is nice. But I'm going to turn it this way first, see if you can see the thickness. That, on this end, that is a thick comb. And then, of course, it comes down to more of a point here. It's, uh, it's definitely handmade. Uh, you can see in between there. It's a fine-tooth comb. My beard isn't the biggest right now. But it glides through pretty good. I've had to use it a few times to detangle a little bit. Especially after a shower. Or after a few days worth of putting beard balm in as well. To help get those hairs separated and straightened back out. I'm not going to put any in beard today guys. Because I do have some other stuff in from a uh, Bad A Beard Company. But uh... What you get extra with this purchase is you get a thank you card. It's the other side. And then when you open it up, it just gives you, you know, you know, dear customer, yada, yada, yada. But the perks of it is when you register online with them, um, you get 20% off code your next kit. Uh, you can get a dollar uh, cash back on um, through PayPal and the General Vikings website, which I've been to, by the way. It doesn't give you much information. Everything pretty much redirects you to their Amazon page, and I that's just what they use. I'd like to actually see something better, but I do know this, is that it's basically based out of China. So... I guess if this is the if this is what you're getting out of China, it's worth it just for the comb alone, in my opinion. For thirteen bucks, I mean you get two ounce oil that's decent, and the comb is really good. It's nice. I mean, you can't break that thing, without a doubt. Uh, on the back of the tin, it doesn't tell you what wood it's made of. It just says it's a wooden comb. Either way, there's no stat. It, it doesn't create any static, so it's good enough for me. Um, so that's what we got for that today. And I will post up pictures of the, some of this stuff too if you want to kind of zoom in on it on my Instagram page, which is beardminded underscore, well, beard underscore minded 37. Just check it out, guys, and don't forget to mind your beards.